Songtsen Gampo, Tibetan, Wiley, Strong BTSAN SGAM Po, 569 to 649, 605 to 649. Also Songtsen Ganbu, Chinese, Songtsen Ganbu, Songtsen Ganbu, was the 33rd Tibetan king and founder of the Tibetan Empire, and is traditionally credited with the introduction of Buddhism to Tibet, influenced by his Nepali and Chinese queens, as well as being the unifier of what were previously several Tibetan kingdoms. He is also regarded as responsible for the creation of the Tibetan alphabet and therefore the establishment of classical Tibetan, the language spoken in his region at the time, as the literary language of Tibet. His mother, the queen, is identified as Driza Tokarma Wiley, Bri Bza Thod Dkar Ma, the Bri wife named White Skull Woman. The dates of his birth and when he took the throne are not certain. In Tibetan accounts, it is generally accepted that he was born in an ox year of the Tibetan calendar, which means one of the following dates, 557, 569, 581, 593, 605 or 617 CE. He is thought to have ascended the throne at age 13 12 by Western reckoning, by this reckoning c. 629. There are difficulties with this position, however, and several earlier dates for the birth of Songtsen Gampo have been suggested, including 569, 593, or 605. Topic: <laughs> Early life and cultural background. It is said that Songtsen Gampo was born at Giyama in Meldro, a region to the northeast of modern Lhasa, the son of the Yarlung king Namri Songtsen. The book The Holder of the White Lotus says that it is believed that he was a manifestation of Avalokiteshvara, of whom the Dalai Lamas are similarly believed to be a manifestation. His identification as a Kakravartan and incarnation of Avalokiteshvara began in earnest in the indigenous Buddhist literary histories of the 11th century. Topic. Family Some Dunhuang documents say that, as well as his sister Sad Markar or Sa de Makar, Songtsen Gampo had a younger brother who was betrayed and died in a fire, sometime after 641. Apparently, according to one partially damaged scroll from Dunhuang, there was hostility between Sa de Makar and Songtsen Gampo's younger brother, Bt Zan Srong, who, as a result, was forced to settle in Nile, an old district to the southeast of Yarlung and across the 5,090 meters feet Yardo Tra Pass, which bordered on modern Bhutan and Arunachal Pradesh in India. Little, if anything, else is known about this brother. Songtsen Gampo's mother, the Queen, is identified as a member of the Sepong clan Wiley, Tshe Spong, Tibetan Annals Wiley, T. Shis Pong, which played an important part in the unification of Tibet. Her name is recorded variously but is identified as Driza Tokarma, the Bri wife named White Skull Woman. Wiley, Bri Bza Thod Dkar Ma, Tibetan Annals Wiley, Bring Ma Tog Dgos, Songtsen Gampo had six consorts, of whom four are considered native, and two, the well-known ones, foreign. Highest ranking was Pagong Mongza Trikam Wiley, Fugong Mong Bza Khrilkam, also called Mongza, the Mong clan wife, who is said to have been the mother of Gungsong Gungsen. Other notable wives include a noble woman of the Western Shah known as Minyakza, Western Shah wife, Wiley, Mi Nyag Bza, and a noble woman from Zhangzheng. Well-known even today are his two foreign wives, the Nepali princess Brakuti, the great lady, the Nepalese wife, Wiley, Bal Mo Bza Ma, as well as the Chinese princess Wencheng, Chinese wife, Wiley, Rgya Mo Bza. These two wives are credited in Tibetan tradition in playing crucial roles in the adoption of Buddhism in Tibet and held to explain the two great influences on Tibetan Buddhism, Indo-Nepali and Chinese. Songtsen Gampo's heir, Gungsong Gungtsen, died before his father, so his son, Mangsong Mangtsen, took the throne. His mother is sometimes said to have been a Chinese princess but this is thought to be highly unlikely. 
His mother was most probably Mangmoj Trikar Wiley, Mang Mo Rjekhri Skar, who is mentioned in the genealogy found in the hidden library in the caves in Dunhuang, the Tibetan annals, which list the names of the Tibetan emperors and the names of their consorts who bore future emperors, and the clans they came from. Some accounts say that when Gungsong Gungtsen reached the age of 13 12 by Western reckoning, his father, Songtsen Gampo, retired, and he ruled for five years, which could have been the period when Songtsen Gampo was working on the new constitution. Constitution. Gungsong Gungtsen is also said to have married a Zha Mang Mo Rje when he was 13, and they had a son, Mangsong Mangtsen R. 650-676 CE. Gungsong Gungtsen is said to have only ruled for five years when he died at 18. His father, Songtsen Gampo, took the throne again. Gungsong Gungtsen is said to have been buried at Dongkorda, the site of the royal tombs, to the left of the tomb of his grandfather Namri Songtsen Gnam Ri Srong Btsan. The dates for these events are very unclear. According to Tibetan tradition, Songtsen Gampo was enthroned while still a minor as the 33rd king of the Yarlung dynasty after his father was poisoned circa 618. He is said to have been born in an unspecified ox year and was 13 years old 12 by Western reckoning when he took the throne. This accords with the tradition that the Yarlung kings took the throne when they were 13, and supposedly old enough to ride a horse and rule the kingdom. If these traditions are correct, he was probably born in the ox year 605 CE. The Old Book of Tang notes that he was still a minor when he succeeded to the throne. The current head of the royal house of Tibet and king in exile is a direct descendant of the Dharma kings and crowned king of Tibet by Tenzin Gyatso, 14th Dalai Lama is His Majesty King Lagyari Trikon Namgyal Wangchuk. The king lives in the United States and travels the world speaking out for the human and religious rights of the Tibetan people, under the occupation of the People's Republic of China. Topic. Cultural activities. Songtsen Gampo is said to have sent his minister Thanmi Samboda to India to devise a script for classical Tibetan, which led to the creation of the first Tibetan literary works and translations, court records and a constitution. After Thanmi Samboda returned from India, Songtsen Gampo stayed in a cave for three years with Thanmi Samboda to learn whatever he had learned in India. Songtsen Gampo moved the seat of his newly unified kingdom from the Yarlung Valley to the Kaichu Valley, site of the future city of Lhasa. The site itself was originally a herding ground called Rasa, the place of goats, but the name was changed to Lhasa, the place of gods, on the king's founding of the Jokhang Temple. The name Lhasa itself originally referred simply to the temple precincts. He is also credited with bringing many new cultural and technological advances to Tibet. The Ju Tangsu, or Old Book of Tang, states that after the defeat in 648 of an Indian army in support of Chinese envoys, the Chinese emperor, Gaozong, a devout Buddhist, gave him the title variously written Binwang, guest king, or Zongwang, cloth tribute king, and 3,000 rolls of multicolored silk in 649 and granted the Tibetan king's request for silkworms' eggs, mortars and presses for making wine, and workmen to manufacture paper and ink. Traditional accounts say that, during the reign of Songtsen Gampo, examples of handicrafts and astrological systems were imported from China and the Western Sha. The Dharma and the art of writing came from India, material wealth and treasures from the Nepalis and the lands of the Mongols, while model laws and administration were imported from the Uyghurs of the Turkic Khaganate to the north. Topic. Introduction of Buddhism Songtsen Gampo is traditionally credited with being the first to bring Buddhism to the Tibetan people. He is also said to have built many Buddhist temples, including the Jokhang in Lhasa, the city in which he is credited in one tradition with founding and establishing as his capital, and Tridruk Temple in Nedong. During his reign, the translation of Buddhist texts from Sanskrit into Tibetan began. Songtsen Gampo is considered to be the first of the three Dharma kings Wiley, Chozer Jil. Songtsen Gampo, Trisong Detsen, and Ralpakan, who established Buddhism in Tibet. The inscription on the Skar Kung Pillar erected by Ralpakan, who ruled c. 800-815 reports that during Songtsen Gampo's reign, shrines of the three jewels were established by building the temple of Ra Sa Lhasa, and so on. The first edict of Trisong Detsen mentions a community of monks at this vihara. 
Topic 620s. Songtsen Gampo was adept at diplomacy as well as on the field of battle. The king's minister, Niang Mangpoj Shangning, with the aid of troops from Zhangzheng, defeated the Sumpa in northeastern Tibet circa 627 Tibetan Annals Oda L. 2. Topic. 630s Six years later c. 632-633, Myang Mang Po Rje Zhang Shang was accused of treason and executed Oda L. 4-5, Richardson 1965. Minister Mgar Srong R. Tisan succeeded him. The Ju Tangsu records that the first ever embassy from Tibet arrived in China from Songtsen Gampo in the 8th Jenggan year, or 634 CE. Tang Dynasty chronicles describe this as a tribute mission, but it brought an ultimatum demanding a marriage alliance, not subservient rituals. After this demand was refused, Tibet launched victorious military attacks against Tang affiliates in 637 and 638. Topic: The conquest of Zhongzheng. There is some confusion as to whether Central Tibet conquered Zhangzheng during the reign of Songtsen Gampo or in the reign of Trisong Detsen R. 755 until 797 or 804 CE. The Old Book of Tang Du seems to place these events clearly in the reign of Songtsen Gampo, for they say that in 634, Yangtong Zhangzheng and various Chang peoples altogether submitted to him. Following this, he united with the country of Yangtong to defeat the Aza, or Tuyuhun, and then conquered two more tribes of Chang before threatening Songzhao with an army of according to the Chinese, more than 200,000 men 100,000 according to Tibetan sources. He then sent an envoy with gifts of gold and silk to the Chinese emperor to ask for a Chinese princess in marriage and, when refused, attacked Songzhao. According to the Tang Annals, he finally retreated and apologized, and, later, the emperor granted his request, but the histories written in Tibet all say that the Tibetan army defeated the Chinese and that the Tang emperor delivered a bride under threat of force. Early Tibetan accounts say that the Tibetan king and the king of Zhangzheng had married each other's sisters in a political alliance. However, the Tibetan wife of the king of the Zhangzheng complained of poor treatment by the king's principal wife. War ensued, and, through the treachery of the Tibetan princess, King Ligmaikia of Zhangzheng, while on his way to Sumba Amdu province, was ambushed and killed by King Srongtsen Gampo's soldiers. As a consequence, the Zhangzheng kingdom was annexed to Bad Central Tibet. Thereafter the new kingdom born of the unification of Zhangzheng and Bad was known as Bad or Jiel Kab. R. A. Stein places the conquest of Zhangzheng in 645. Topic. Further campaigns He next attacked and defeated the Tangut people who later formed the Western Sha state in 942 CE, the Bailing, and Chang tribes. The Bailan people were bounded on the east by the Tangats and on the west by the Domi. They had been subject to the Chinese since 624, after a successful campaign against China in the frontier province of Songzhao in 635-36 607, the Chinese emperor agreed to send a Chinese princess for Songtsen Gampo to marry. Around 639, after Songtsen Gampo had a dispute with his younger brother Sensong, Wiley, Bertsen Srong, the younger brother was burnt to death by his own minister, Cossack Wiley, Mkha Sregs, possibly at the behest of the emperor. Topic. 640s The Old Book of Tang records that when the king of Ni Po Luo, Nipaluo, Nepal, the father of Lichavi king Nailing Deva or Narendradeva, died, an uncle, Udat Sna Kug, T. Vishnagupta, usurped the throne. The Tibetans gave him refuge and re-established him on his throne in 641, that is how he became subject to Tibet. Sometime later, but still within the Jengon period 627 to 650 CE, the Tibetans sent an envoy to present-day Nepal, where the king received him, joyfully. And, later, when a Tibetan mission was attacked in present-day India by then minister of Emperor Harshavardhan who had usurped the throne after Emperor Harshavardhan's death around 647 AD, the Lichavi king came to their aid. Songtsen Gampo married Princess Brikuti, the daughter of King Lichavi. 
The Chinese princess Wencheng, niece of the Emperor Taizong of Tang, left China in 640 to marry Songtsen Gampo, arriving the next year. Peace between China and Tibet prevailed for the remainder of Songtsen Gampo's reign. Both wives are considered to have been incarnations of Tara standard Tibetan, Drolma, the goddess of compassion, the female aspect of Chenrezig. Dolma, or Drolma Sanskrit Tara. The two wives of Emperor Srong Btsan Gambo are venerated under this name. The Chinese princess is called Dal Kar, of the White Dolma, and the Nepalese princess Dal Jang, or the Green Dolma, the latter is prayed to by women for fecundity. The Ju Tangsu adds that Songtsen Gampo thereupon built a city for the Chinese princess, and a palace for her within its walls. As the princess disliked their custom of painting their faces red, Lungston Songtsen Gampo ordered his people to put a stop to the practice, and it was no longer done. He also discarded his felt and skins, put on brocade and silk, and gradually copied Chinese civilization. He also sent the children of his chiefs and rich men to request admittance into the national school to be taught the classics, and invited learned scholars from China to compose his official reports to the emperor. However, according to Tibetologist John Powers, such accounts of Tibet embracing Chinese culture through Wencheng are not corroborated by Tibetan histories. Songtsen Gampo's sister Sad Mar Kar was sent to marry Lig Myi Raya, the king of Zhangzheng. However, when the king refused to consummate the marriage, she then helped Songtsen Gampo to defeat Lig Myi Raya and incorporate the Zhangzheng of Western Tibet into the Tibetan Empire in 645, thus gaining control of most, if not all, of the Tibetan plateau. Following the visit by the famous Chinese pilgrim monk Zanzong to the court of Harsha, the king ruling Magadha, Harsha sent a mission to China which, in turn, responded by sending an embassy consisting of Li Yibiao and Wang Zuance, who probably traveled through Tibet and whose journey is commemorated in inscriptions at Rajagurha, modern Rajgur, and Bodhgaya. Wang Zanz made a second journey in 648, but he was badly treated by Harsha's usurper, his minister Arjuna, and Harsha's mission plundered. This elicited a response from Tibetan and Nepalese Lichavi troops who, together, soundly defeated Arjuna's forces. In 649, the king of Zaihai Jun was conferred upon Songtsen Gampo by Tang Gaozong, the emperor of the Tang dynasty. According to the Tibetan annals, Songtsen Gampo must have died in 649, and, in 650, the Tang emperor sent an envoy with a letter of mourning and condolences. His tomb is in the Changyas Valley near Yulung, 13 meters high and 130 meters long. Topic Notes. Topic References. Topic Citations. Topic Sources. Beckwith, Christopher I. 1993. The Tibetan Empire in Central Asia, A History of the Struggle for Great Power Among Tibetans, Turks, Arabs, and Chinese During the Early Middle Ages. Princeton University Press. ISBN 0-691-02469-3 BSOD Nams Urgeel M. T. Shan the Mirror Illuminating the Royal Genealogies, Tibetan Buddhist Historiography, an annotated translation of the 14th-century Tibetan Chronicle, or Jeel Rab's Gsal Ba I Mi Long. Otto Harisovitz Verlag. ISBN 978-3-447-03510-1. Dotson, Brandon Administration and Law in the Tibetan Empire, the Section on Law and State and its Old Tibetan Antecedents D. Phil. Thesis, Tibetan and Himalayan Studies, Oriental Institute University of Oxford Dujom The Nyingma School of Tibetan Buddhism, Its Fundamentals and History. Wisdom Publications. ISBN 978-0-86171-734-7. Gyatso, Janet, Hovnovic, Hannah Women in Tibet. Columbia University Press. ISBN 978-0-231-13098-1. Dürm Dorje Tibet Handbook, with Bhutan. Footprint Handbooks. ISBN 978-1-900949-33-0. Laird, Thomas 
The Story of Tibet, Conversations with the Dalai Lama. Grove Press. ISBN 978-0-8021-1827-1. Lee, Don Y. The History of Early Relations Between China and Tibet, from Chu Tang Shu, a Documentary Survey. Bloomington, Eastern Press. ISBN 0-939758-00-8. Pelliot, Paul Histoire ancienne du Tibet. Paris, Library de Mirique et d'Orient. Powers, John History as Propaganda Tibetan Exiles vs. the People's Republic of China ed. New York, New York, Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-517426-7. Richardson, Hugh E. How Old Was Strong Bertson Skampo? Bulletin of Tibetology, 2 1. Shakapa, Sapan W. D. Tibet, A Political History. New Haven and London, Yale University Press. Yeshe de Project 1986. Ancient Tibet, Research Materials from the Yeshe de Project. Dharma Publ. ISBN 978-0-89800-146-4. External links http colon slash slash www.asianert.com slash articles slash jaya slash kings .html a list of Lichavi kings and their attributed dates, from a Kushan period sculpture from the reign of Jaya Varma, AD 184-185. Kathmandu, Nepal. Kashanath Tamit and Ian Alsop. See, http colon slash slash www.asianert.com slash articles slash jaya slash index 01 underscore 12. HTML